Hi guys, first of all, Happy New Year to all of you. Thanks for tuning in. I think this is the episode 37 of the weekly guitar meeting at this guitar paradise, Zika's Guitars. And I hope you are doing well. Let's start with the guitars of this week because we have four very different sounding guitars. And the first guitar of this week is made by the German guitar luthier Johanna Vogel and we did an interview with her and let's listen to what she had to say about her guitar. Thanks for being here. It's a pleasure to meet you. And she brought us today her new guitar, brand new guitar. It looks already very nice and very well built. But first of all, maybe you can tell us a little bit about yourself. When did you start to build guitars or where did you learn to build guitars? So I'm from Berlin and uh, 2016 I started the apprenticeship in Mittenwald. In ah, Mittenwald, the yeah. famous Luther uh, guitar yeah. making. Mm -hmm. It's only for guitars or No, you also can also learn uh, other instruments. Yeah, violins ah, okay. and trumpets and so mm -hmm. on. And I know very good guitar luthiers in Berlin. Mm -hmm. So you are also from Berlin and you know some of them? Yeah, I know okay. some of them. Yeah. So it's uh, nice because it's such a huge town. Um, so I think there's much uh, inspiration and really great guitar, guitar and, makers. And it's a, I think it's a good community because you can mm -hmm. maybe learn from each other. Yeah. And because always if I see some guitar luthiers from Berlin, they are always together and talking about the guitars. And this is a very positive. Thing, I, yeah, I really nice people and um, yeah, I um, worked there for Adrian Heinzelmann mm -hmm. and that's, that was very inspiring and really interesting. Which um, style do you make? Is it a traditionally built guitar or let it, what kind of bracing do you um, use? I would say it's a um, combination of both. So it's a bit in the Spanish tradition, but mixed with modern elements. Okay. Um, so I um, first started with um, the Romania of Plantilla, ah, okay. um, but I changed it because mm -hmm. I um, had the goal to um, build a guitar that, which is very loud and expressive. Okay, so you had so, your own imagination yeah. of, the, of a sound. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. So that's why I um, changed it. So um, mm -hmm. the first thing was that I built the uh, top very thin. Very thin, okay. Yeah. And not extreme but um, more light. The sides are double um, because I like the idea of um, this strong um, corpus. Mm -hmm. um, so you have most of the energy going through the people. Yeah, exactly. Which so the yeah. the sound is going very, should go very forward. Yeah. You mean. Yeah. 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 Let's have a look at this beautiful guitar it's beautiful it's really nice it has a lattice brace no, top it's or um, single? traditional traditional so, yeah. seven or five seven, fan brace. seven fan brace seven fan brace okay seven fan brace. and um, these two braces are opened so um, the brace uh, here here are two braces ah okay which go along in this uh, space <laughs> okay nice so this is a, a spruce top and this is Indian mm -hmm. rosewood, yeah. okay. Backhand sides and also very nice and simple tuning machines. Okay, I will play some notes on it. Yeah. And let's see how it sounds. <laughs> Wow, really good. Congrats. I mean, um, the first thing what I notice is the the color. The color is very beautiful, very elegant, and I have also the possibility to create a lot of different 
colors and sounds. The sustain. It has a very full bodied sound. It um, reminds me a little bit of a double top guitar because also the response is very fast. But it's not a double top guitar, it's a more traditional bit. Do you like the sound? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's your own guitar. Yeah, but, I think uh, it's can, can good. Mm -hmm. Well, I really enjoy playing playing this. And what's your? I mean, every guitar luthier who builds a guitar have a, or should have an idea of a sound. What, yeah. how the guitar should sound, and what is your idea of a sound? How should your guitar guitar sound? Yeah, um, I like the idea of a very present guitar. So mm -hmm. you have a clear sound. So you can um, hear every tone, really clear, mm -hmm. detailed sound, um, and also have the possibility to play in different dynamic styles. So um, exactly, the, 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 the dynamic range is incredible on this guitar. This is exactly, so you reached your goal with that one, because uh, I can play very soft. Sometimes if you play very, quiet and soft on the guitar, mm -hmm. a lot of frequencies are lost somehow. Mm -hmm. But um, with this one, even if I play very low and soft and very quiet, mm -hmm. uh, you can, I personally can still hear different um, frequencies and, diff uh, and a lot of overtones. Mm -hmm. And if I get louder, quality of the tone is still there so yeah so uh, the dynamic and you like a very detailed sound so that if you play in a, a big church uh, usually there is a lot of reverb and hall and the people who are sitting um, very far from the stage usually will hear only a sound cloud very nasal sound cloud so if a guitar sounds very detailed, mm -hmm. it's very helpful in big concert halls. Yeah. Great guitar, really, congrats. I'm really impressed by this guitar. It was also the first time that I uh, played a guitar by Johanna Vogel from Berlin, Germany. And yeah, thanks for being here. It was a pleasure to play your guitar and to meet you. And we move to the next guitar. This beautiful guitar is made by the Spanish guitar luthier Antonio Marin Montero, so no introduction needed. This is from 2022 and it has the number 
1633B. And this guitar is of course traditionally built. We have a, uh, not cedar, we have a spruce top and beautiful Indian rosewood back and sides. It's a very light guitar and very fine build, beautiful finishing. Let's see how it sounds. Wow, what a sound quality. And I didn't expect such a deep basses. It sounds very full by it. What a sweet sound. This guitar gives me such a comfortable feeling to play. What a balance and what a beautiful color. This is a typical Spanish guitar, but for my taste, it has still, it has even more deep resonance and uh, it responds also very well. Somehow it sounds like a combination of a traditional Spanish guitar and a more modern sounding German guitar. Very impressive guitar by Antonio Marin Montero from 2022. No words left. Let's move to the... Last guitar of this week. A very special one. The last guitar of this week is made by 
the very well-known English guitar luthier Simon Embridge. And this guitar is from 2020. It has the number 280. And this guitar looks amazing. I played, I think a year ago, for the first time a guitar by Simon Embridge. And I was so amazed by the sound and by the build quality of the guitar. It's so fine and aesthetically it's a very beautiful guitar and we have a spruce top and Indian rosewood backhand sides but let's see how it sounds I have no words. It has such a lovely tone. A fantastic response and you have so many possibilities to create different colors on this one and the quality of the tone is just amazing and very musical very easy to play wow The most important thing for me, what I noticed is I hear a lot of character in this guitar. And this is not the case with every guitar. Uh, maybe one more piece. I think this guitar is the best way to end the weekly guitar of this week at Zika's Guitars. 
Thanks for um, sticking around with me until the end of the video and I hope you enjoyed the guitars of this week. Please let me know also your opinion about the sound of these guitars and I hope to see you next week. Bye.